Hello. I'm coming to you today with a brief message that I wish wasn't necessary. That message is, please be extra careful in the weeks ahead while we all fight this surge of new community COVID-19 cases. I know you've done your part, washing your hands, social distancing, and wearing a mask when you're not at home. You have shown how resilient you are when we've had to curtail or modify many of the services that you normally enjoy. I know that our team has been over backward to find new ways to keep things fun while keeping you safe. And yet, the plain fact is that we are not where any of us hope to be at this point. The virus is so contagious and sometimes carried by people who don't even know they're sick. We at Raystone Senior Living are realists, but we are also optimists. So we're continuing to work on modifications that will allow us to reopen some dining, re-examining -exam, re housekeeping support, such as washing bedding, and yes, reopening hair salons, but according to stringent protocols. We plan to be back soon with good news about all of that. Meanwhile, we strongly urge you to limit exposure to the outside community. Even if some services have reopened where you live, not everyone out there is taking the necessary steps to protect you. In fact, it appears that lots of people aren't doing what they should. The virus is the same as it was in March. Our immunity is the same. What's different now is that there are more people in our communities, many more, who are sick and contagious, even if they don't know it. Sadly, that goes for family gatherings too. For now, the safest place to be is in your apartment home. Here are some other things to keep in mind. Doctors now know that early diagnosis and treatment is extremely important. Treatment may be as simple as getting oxygen, and there are medications that have been shown to help. So don't wait to call your doctor if you have any symptoms, and let your community administrator know too. I say any symptoms because we now know that COVID-19 can look so many different ways. You don't have to have a fever or dry cough. You might just have a runny nose or upset stomach. Your doctor is your best guide. If you don't have a regular doctor, we can help you figure out how to get a medical consultation. You may be hearing that testing is in short supply again. You should know that seniors, especially people living in community situations, have higher priority. So don't assume you can't get tested. Please don't put off regular appointments related to conditions your doctor is watching. Medical offices are doing a great job of protecting their patients with many new protocols in place. One final thing, the farther we get into this surge, the greater the possibility you could hear from a contact tracer. Keep in mind, they will call and will only ask for the names and phone numbers of people you may have been in contact with. They never text or email. They never ask for social security numbers or financial information. Anyone who does is a scammer. Keep your spirits up. Let us know how we can help. We promise to keep you informed and do everything in our power, not only to protect you, but to support your joy in living. You matter to us. Thank you.